How are you doing, Vue devs? If you've been working in Vite recently, you'll notice that when you start a new project, your script section looks like this. Okay, what? Is this the options API, composition API? Where's the setup method? This script setup syntax is a proposed change in Vue's Git RFCs. To be clear, this is not intended to completely replace any of the current ways to write code. Its purpose is to provide developers with a more concise syntax to write their single file components. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at exactly how it works and some of the ways that it can be useful. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button to help support the channel. It really helps me out in the algorithm and gets these videos in front of more of you developers. Alright, let's go. So first, let's get a basic overview of how script setup works. In script setup, all of the top level bindings are exposed to the template. In the composition API, most of us are used to returning anything we want exposed to the template directly from our setup method. With this proposed syntax, the data, computed properties, and methods that we declare are all automatically exposed to the template. But not just that, also directives and components that we import into our script are also available in our template. And the reason for this is that it makes your single file components so much simpler. In the exact words of the RFC itself, the proposal's main goal is reducing the verbosity of composition API usage inside single file components by directly exposing the context of script setup to the template. And that's exactly what we just saw. By not having to worry about creating a setup method and returning exactly what we want to expose, we can simplify our code. So now that we know what script setup is, let's take a look at some of its more advanced features. First, you may be wondering how to do standard view operations like access and declare props, emit events, and access our context object. In the composition API, these were simply arguments on our setup method, but in this script setup syntax, we can access these same options with three imports from view. Define props, and as the name suggests, this allows us to define props for our component, define emits, which lets us define the events that our component can emit, and then in our template, we can easily emit events like this, and then use context, which gives us access to the slots and attributes of our component. With these three imports, we can get the functionality that we're used to having in our traditional setup method. Another cool feature of script setup is how easy it is to create an async setup method. This is useful for loading in APIs as your component is created, and even tying in your code with the new experimental suspense feature to display fallback content. All we have to do to make our setup function asynchronous is use a top-level await inside of our script setup. For example, if we're using the fetch API, we can just use a wait like this, and then our setup will be asynchronous. It's that simple. The final concept that I want to bring up is the fact that script setup can be used in addition to a normal script. Script setup creates its own script scope for its top level bindings, but in certain cases, there might be code that has to be executed inside the module scope. The examples given in the RFC are declaring named exports and creating global side effects that only execute once. We can add this functionality by adding a normal script block right alongside the script setup like this. It's that simple. Currently, this experimental feature is available for you to try out, so if you want to opt in to use it, just add setup to your script tag. Or if you never want to think about it and just want to write code your own way, go for it. To learn more about the script setup, the link to the full RFC with its motivations, exact syntax, and more technical implementations is down in the description. So that's all for this video. I hope it cleared up what this new script syntax is that's all inside your VDAP. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more view content.